smell of power, clean energy. Hold it and don't push anything. You want to hear? Well, first one I'll do here. Push to four? No, no, don't push. <laughs> I, will run. I will run like a rocket man. <laughs> Now we are testing if women can actually lift the electro paramotor or not. How old are you? Uh, ten years old. Ten years old. That's electric paramotor he's holding. Oh. Can you fly with it? Should I blow you away? Clear <laughs> prop. <laughs> Heavy? No. You sure? Oh! <laughs> you are trying to fly already, eh? Mashallah. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Assalamu alaikum, greetings, Ali Shamal here. Welcome to the ground testing, the very first ground testing of uh, OFM E Glide V4 electric paramotor. Now, this right here is a PMP, plug and play combo that you can use to convert any gasoline engine paramotor frame into electric within five minutes, even on the field. I'll give you a demonstration of that in this video as well. For now, let's just uh, Put in fully charged batteries. I just can't wait to test this power and thrust and see what this motor can pump out on the ground only. And after this initial testing, I will have one more on the ground test session. And after that, inshallah, you know, for me, it's time to get back to blue skies. It's been three years I've been waiting for my foot to recover. And I believe, alhamdulillah, it's much more recovered. I can run and do a running takeoff with that and we will do flight testing when the weather is good and time is right. We are going to feed the controller 100 volts. So we have one, two, three, four batteries in series. So that's like 24S. Here we go, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, so the motor is working. What I want to demonstrate is that if you are, say, flying, and somehow something happened, the battery goes away, the battery died in your remote control, wireless throttle, or you somehow accidentally dropped it and it went out of control range. So I'm just gonna turn it off. And the motor stops. So that is one of the safety features here, okay? Number two. You also have a battery in your receiver side for the wireless throttle controller for the, in the receiver side. And what if that battery dies or something goes wrong, that receiver turns off. So I'm just going to demonstrate. So we are cruising. And immediately it just locks the motor right there and it starts beeping. So these are the safety features right here for this controller in our e-glide v4 so motor will always disarm itself will not go full throttle will not go out of control which is a very very safe feature i would say right here so now i'm ready to put on the propeller put on the paramotor and uh, test its thrust Oh, my man. Ooh. <laughs>
，我心脏都跳。他没有，两个人真 hold 不住这东西，真 hold 不住。我我明显感受得到。I didn't go full throttle yet, man. <笑> yeah, only half, right? Only half throttle. <笑>我要是一松手，他可能真的真的这东西就能飞起来。See if we have four of these motors, we can start flying. <笑> of course. Eighteen kilograms. Hold it and don't push anything. You do Otherwise, here? Mm, well, first one I will do here. Push the floor? No, no, don't push. <laughs> I, will run. I will run like a rocket man. <laughs> you will say, hey, where's Ali? Ali's like, put down the throttle. <laughs> Turn it up here. <laughs> this is my lock right here. <laughs> Shoot a new segment. <laughs> for very voltage. Let me set it. We still have four volts. It's on the ground. I'm putting up a whole lot of resistance to the motor thrust, and that will put more load on the motor, controller, and the batteries. And that is why batteries will definitely run out so soon. But if I have to take off, if I would take off, and I'm in the air, I'm constantly moving at a very low throttle, and I can cruise for at least 20, 25 minutes easily with a 10,000 milliamp packs. With 22,000 milliamp, 65 minutes or more is possible. So, Alhamdulillah, the first test is very successful. I really didn't expect it that much thrust on this motor. I mean, I knew it could do what, but I think it's pumping out much more than we actually expected. Now, what I want to do is also try it on three batteries. Right now I'm using 100 volts. I want to try it on 75 volts, and that will be enough thrust 
for a beginner to take off and learn. So you can cut down the power. You can give beginner less power. And when you want to fly, you know, if you learn to fly, you can go full 100 volts and enjoy flying. Should I blow you away? No problem. So on the ground, the test puts a whole lot of load on the motor, controller, and of course the batteries as well. So we have been testing quite a while now, I would say, with full throttle, half throttle, and doing a lot of fun stuff. But if I see my batteries, each battery, if you come closer here, is still 23.5. Each cell is 3.9 volts here in this battery, 3.9, 3.8, 3.9. 3.91 and we have here 3.9 23.5 and then we have here 3.9 3.9 so that's also 23.5 or something and the same goes with the last battery 3.9 means I can if I'm in the air I can still go down bring the battery down to 3.6 on a safe voltage and I can still cruise for another 10 minutes very easily Given my weight on the paramotor, given the gliders moving, I can still cruise for 10 more minutes. So far, Alhamdulillah, I would say this power combo is showing a lot of promise, a lot of promise. And that's why I'm very, very happy to release the E-Glide V4 Lite plug and play combo right here. Here comes the battery pack. So now we are testing if women can actually lift the electro paramotor or not. So hold on, don't move, don't move. Oh, now Mariam is wearing it. That's 12.3 kgs, uh, sorry, 12.7 kgs. And here comes the 5.3 kg of battery pack. All right, what do you feel? Turn around. <laughs> what do you feel? It's okay. It's okay, you can still run around? Run. Run! Yeah, she's run. Okay, come back. So, Mary is a very lightweight girl. And if she can pick it up, any other women can pick it up. Let's try it on the kids. Hold on. Come on. Arishi. You're a strong boy. Come on. You'll pick it up, okay? You'll wear it and pick it up. Okay. Press it. Come on out. Okay. Come on, Arish. Put your arms in. And this arm in. Bro, come to the forward side. Come to the forward side. Okay, how heavy you are, Arish? Uh, 20? Uh, 31 kg. 31 kg. How old are you? Uh, 10 years old. 10 years old. That's electric paramotor he's holding. Oh. Can you fly with it? No, I cannot. <laughs> okay, of course. <laughs> but inshallah, in the future, you can. All right. Come on up. Eight years old. Where are you? No, oh, under. Yeah. Ready? Lean forward. Lean forward. Forward. Lean forward. More, more, more. Hold the weight here. Yes. Heavy? No. You sure? Oh! <laughs> you are trying to fly already, eh? Mashallah. <laughs> okay, come on. So women and kids can get to the skies now if they are getting proper training with E-Glide V4 right here, my man. Uh-huh. Okay, so here we have the E-Glide V4 plug and play combo and using only four screws. You can put it on any uh, paramotor frame given that you have a proper frame now the only thing that you need to probably do is drill holes new holes because engines the hole dimensions and distance between holes is different this one is an easy task you can drill four holes in your frame now this frame once again as I mentioned is designed for 170 cc I believe that's the engine 170 engine and we don't have that engine so what we are gonna do is 
We're gonna install E-Glide V4 power combo plug and play just like this with four screws. I have just four screws. If I'm right, these are 5.94 millimeter diameter screws. Then I have one little wrench and this little uh, Swiss Army knife type of tool. And that's all I need for installing the power combo on this paramotor frame. Now I do have helping hands around, but what I'm trying to do is see if one person can actually install it or not. Got it? Ow. We can see the time on the video. safely to say you can add it here making sure the cables are not gonna stay loose there you go you are ready to install your battery pack in there once fully charged batteries are in put it on fire it up and enjoy flying so from this video that you just watched from this video clip that you just watched you can easily see how long it took me to convert a gasoline engine paramotor frame into an electric power paramotor with e-glide v4 pmp combo how many almost five minutes almost five minutes so let's say within five minutes you can convert your gasoline engine paramotor into a pure punchy clean quieter electric paramotor even on field within five minutes so that's e-glide v4 pnp right here coming your way very soon stay tuned for updates on my channel their links are in video descriptions and also there's a link to a page on onlyflymachines.com you can always follow it to get all the updates pricing and everything You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.